Welcome to Through the Halls Network. My name is Marcus Freewalt. I'm Adara Fierce. We're going to be flying through the halls today to update you on what's been happening in the nest. To start our episode off, we have special faculty guests here with us today to spread a little awareness about St. John's IEP program, as well as other educational laid plans and routes your student may qualify for. Also, be ready for DSJ fun facts that you'll only hear on our channel. Let's, Let's get, get right, right into, into it. it. St. John's provides individual education plans for K-12 students who need customized learning plans. Along with that, we have a Child's First Team where parents and faculty work together to develop intervention strategies that work best for your child. Our reporter, Chloe Etzkorn, is here today with K-6 Intervention Specialist Jamie Elwer and 7-12 through Intervention Specialist Amy Bittner to provide us with a deeper insight into these various educational plans. Take it away, Chloe. Hello, today we are here with Ms. Bittner and Mrs. Elwer talking about the St. John's IEP program. Thank you so much for coming on with us today. You're welcome. You're welcome. Good morning. Before we dive into each part deeper, can we have a brief summary of what exactly is the St. John's IEP program? So I'll start with that question. Um, the IEP program is the individual education plan and we write those for students that qualify um, based on a multi-factored evaluation and they have to have a specific type of disability and then we write that plan um, to help them with their instruction at school. Thank you. Uh, now that we have an overview, let's get into the specifics. What is the Child First Team? Do you not want me to start? <laughs> I'll go ahead and answer that one. So the Child First Team, um, when a student is struggling in the classroom with either a learning or behavior, the, um, the student, the parents, and the teachers meet to develop an intervention that's done in the classroom. Um, it's an intervention that lasts six to eight weeks, and the hope is that um, they make progress in what area, whatever area they're struggling in. And if the intervention works, then we continue it. And if it doesn't work, then we look at, we meet again, the team meets again, and then we come up with a new intervention. All right, it is great that we have whole teams of people working together for student success. So what exactly are IMAPs and IEPs, and how are they different from each other? Okay, so the IEP, um, you have to have like we said, there's specific disabilities. There's 13 categories that you can qualify for an IEP. Um, in order to be on an IEP, it has to impact your you at school, your education. So you need specially designed instruction um, to be able to access the general curriculum. And so that's kind of the gist of an IEP. And then the IMAP, um, they don't qualify for specially designed instruction. And um, we do more of accommodations in the classroom. So they can, they can still learn in the regular classroom, but they just need some accommodations like maybe test read aloud or you know, preferential seating. Um, can you think of any other um, things that I missed? Yeah, one thing that's similar between an IEP and an mm -hmm. IMAP is that uh, both plans do follow them year after year. That's so, true. Um, yeah. Thank you. Um, so, Along the lines of that, we also have another program here at St. John's, the IMSE program. What exactly is the IMSE program and how does it help students with dyslexia learn? So IMSE is a program um, that teachers are trained in. Um, there's different levels that um, works with the different grade levels. Currently we have about 10 teachers that are trained. Um, it's, a, it's a reading and phonics based program. Um, and let's see, can you think I'm... It's multi-sensory, yes. which makes it different than just the general education instruction, yes. or not general education, but then the traditional reading instruction. Mm -hmm. So the, te the teachers are able to assess the uh, reading difficulties that a student's having in the regular classroom and helps accommodate those. And it's great for all learners, not only students with dyslexia, but anyone that's struggling with reading. That is great. And lastly, we have one more question. What exactly, or excuse me, what makes St. John's IEP program special? Well, there are, there's differences between what we do and at the public school, I mean, and there's similarities. Um, what makes it special, I think, is because we, 
we work together. So Jamie and I are the only two intervention specialists at St. John's. Um, and so we work with the students K through 12. So she may be working with them all the way K through 12 if they qualify in elementary school. Um, I write the IEP plan for them. And so I'm also, you know, know about the student even though I may not be working with them yet until they get to seventh grade. Um, but I think that makes it special because we have that relationship with the child from the beginning until they graduate where at another school you maybe just work with them for one year. Thank you so much for coming on with us today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Chloe. Up next, we have our DSJ fun fact for the week, told to us by Olivia Hines. What's the fun fact today, Olivia? Thank you, Adara and Marcus. Did you know that graffiti was even encouraged here at Delphi St. John's? It has been a long-standing tradition for the seniors to spray paint their names or initials in the attic of the elementary school after the senior class play. That was one of the last things the seniors would do as a class. Today, we are fortunate enough to have a musical that both the junior high and high school students participate in. But fear not, seniors still find a way to make it to the attic to leave their mark on the school. Signing out, Olivia, who puts the fun in fun facts. Well, well, the more you know, Marcus. That's right. Thank you all for listening and be sure to stay tuned for our next episode. Also, make sure to tell your friends and family about our channel. Our info will be posted on the St. John's website. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to our channel. Until, Until then, then, see you next time. time.